So here's a, a little Arduino product I've been working on. I built this today. I got taught how to do this by Pearl Chen and uh, some pretty cool stuff. So over here we got the, uh, this is Google's uh, example ADK app and that allows me to control uh, all the stuff going on over here. So the tablet uh, through this app sends commands to the Arduino board um, which is awaiting those commands and those commands are then sent off to this little uh, Andy robot right here and so we can see right now his eyes are lit up and uh, so the cool things that uh, this little robot has is he's got a uh, you kind of call it a motion sensor his arm basically it's a uh, almost a switch so that when his arm is raised it's on and we can tell over here by looking at this little B1 that's lit up right there that uh, his arm is actually raised and if I lower it like this we can actually see it's turned off so let's quickly his arm goes up turns on arm goes down goes off up down alright and then uh, the next cool thing is he's got the LED lights in his head uh, in his eyes and we've got two switches up here that actually control that so if I click one of them off one turns off, both off. And so you can actually control those just like that by tapping those. So, pretty cool stuff there. And then, the best part of all um, is he's actually, uh, inside of him he's got a servo motor which actually controls his head. And so, we can actually use this little toggle up at the top here to actually turn his head like so. You can see he rotates his head there. You can see it's very responsive. You can see my finger moving. And it's almost instantaneous with my finger. So you can see the Arduino and the ADK are pretty freaking awesome. Um, so got a couple things hooked up back here. So we got all the wires that control all of uh, the components that are inside of them. Those are each connected to each of the ports. Um, that are required as I wrote in my Arduino program. Um, and then we've also got power hooked up here and we've also got uh, the USB which actually goes to the tablet. So that's what I've been working on and uh, hopefully I can take this little example that Pearl Chen taught me and I can turn it into something real cool. Uh, maybe start off by making some modifications to it uh, to make it my own and then uh, in the future uh, hopefully build something completely original of my own. So there we go.